So spring break just ended for me and I'm getting so excited about summer. So I'm going to start preparing. This year I decided that I'd actually prepare instead of just sitting around and waiting for fun stuff to happen. You may be thinking it's too early for that. It's only April, but to that I say it's never too early to start preparing. It can only make your summer better and give you something to look forward to. So first things first, we're gonna make a vision board. It felt wrong putting ice in a mug, but I just wanted to use this mug so bad. It's so cute. Brayden's mom and brother happened to be in LA the other day and they took me to lunch and we went to Earth Cafe and they got me this for my apartment, which I just thought was so nice. This is the cutest mug I've ever seen. All right, let's make a vision board. I'm gonna make it on my iPad mini. I'm going on Pinterest and I'm just gonna save a bunch of pictures that just represent what I want my summer to be. I'm gonna make a board called Summer Vision Board. I'm gonna have my first apartment this summer, so there's gonna be a lot of apartment stuff on here. I wanna be doing doing like fun stuff with friends. I wanna read a lot. And then I'll do some stuff that I wanna wear this summer. I have lots of fun YouTube goals as well. Lots of working in cute cafes, trying to get out of the house. Ooh, I also wanna take a lot of film pictures this summer. I've been really into film recently. Okay, I think I'm pretty much finished. So I'm gonna save all of these to my camera roll and then put together the vision board. just finished my vision board. I think it looks so cute. I love how it turned out. Also, if you're wondering where I got this little like template for it, it's part of the weekly planner from Flourish Planner. So I'm gonna show you guys what I put on it. So I put some fun pictures of like going out with friends. I put this little like coffee shop study session. Well, not really studying. I would use it more for like working on YouTube stuff. I have a cute little graphic and then some summer like fashion inspiration. I really like this top, bunch of flowers, more fun stuff with friends, an apartment with lots of natural lighting, reading, more cute outfits, film pictures, more flowers, cute quote. And yeah, that pretty much covers it, I feel like. Also this one, this is a very specific picture that I was excited to find. It's basically just like a yoga mat on the ground and that's it. But I've really been wanting to do more like ab workouts and stuff, which I used to do at home, just like in my room. And I would just like lay out my yoga mat and I miss doing that, but it's kind of hard to do in a dorm. I don't really have that much room. I have been really, really looking forward to just being able to work out like in my room. So yeah, that is my vision board. Next thing I'm gonna do is get some more fashion inspiration. I wanna be wearing cute outfits this summer. We're gonna do some online shopping. Okay, first let's go through my Pinterest board. I've already kind of started pinning stuff for the summer. I've been really into like a lot of basics and the kind of like model off duty look. Like I really like this right here. Love low rise pants. And then this top is so cute. I also love tops like this. I think this is so cute. Oh my God, this is $250. Did not realize that when I pinned it, but it's cute. Another thing I've been loving is crochet tops like this. I love this as like just a normal top or as bikini cover ups. I think it's so cute. Overalls are a big one. Love just like little frilly shirts like this. Okay, I think that's all I had pinned for summer so far. Let's start shopping. I am really interested in thread up, so I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna search overalls. I really like these ones from Old Navy. I am gonna add this to a pin board. I'm using Opera right now as my web browser and it lets you make these little pin boards so I can like screenshot these overalls right now and then add it to my fashion board and then it'll like save the picture with the link and everything. It's really cool. I want to look at handbags. I feel like they would have some cute ones on ThreadUp. Ooh, this one is so cute. I will add this to my pin board. I'm gonna try looking up Levi's. Actually, let me just put in low rise jeans because I feel like I don't really care too much if they're like Levi's or not. I do like these ones from Express. I'm not gonna like buy everything that I'm adding to this pin board right now, but I just want some inspiration. Let's try Brandy. I really like this top, adding it to the pin board. Ooh, okay, they have like a cute little sweater that I feel like would look really good over like a little sundress. I think long skirts like this are so pretty. Imagine this like at the beach or on a cute picnic or something. Tops like this are also what I was talking about, just that cute little like dainty, super girly vibe. Okay, and then I'm gonna try one more store. Maybe I'll try Urban Outfitters. Oh, I think this one is so cute. I love little graphic tank tops like this. I'm not really seeing too much from Urban Outfitters today. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today's online shopping. 
Thank you so much to Opera for sponsoring today's video. Experience faster, restriction-free browsing with Opera's free built-in VPN. You can sync all your data and send files between Opera on Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, Chromebook, and Android. Opera's no-log VPN protects your browser privacy on Android and desktop. I'm someone who loves to go to coffee shops to do work, so that means connecting to a lot of public Wi-Fi, so this VPN is perfect for me. They also have these really cool things called pin boards, which you guys saw me using earlier in this video. So they basically collect pictures, files, links, music, and notes, and you can use them to plan trips, make vision boards, share designs, do some shopping like I did, pretty much anything you need. It's super easy to use too. My favorite way to do it is just to click the little camera at the top of your screen, and then you can click and drag the area that you wanna capture, click capture, and then add to pin boards, and you can just add it to whichever one you want. It is so convenient. Also with Opera, you won't miss a single new release with Spotify and YouTube Music in your sidebar. I personally added my Apple Music, and I love it. It's so nice to just have on my browser. They also have this thing where you can minimize the video that you're watching, and then it'll just be playing wherever you want it to on the screen while you're doing other stuff. So you can literally watch this video while you are planning your summer, which is just so cool. And Opera has Messenger and social media in the sidebar, so I connected my Instagram. It's basically just everything you need all in one place. Like I said, so convenient, so you guys should definitely go check it out. Go click the link in the description to download Opera, and let's get back to the video. It is so hot. See, like in LA, it already feels like summer, so it doesn't feel too early to be like doing a preparing for summer video. But if you're in areas that are still pretty cold, then maybe this is a little early, but it's fine. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do to prepare for summer is get some books. Over like the past year or so, I have redeveloped my love for reading. So this summer, I wanna read a lot of books since I'm gonna have time. I won't have school. I am doing summer school, but it's only a three week class. It's gonna be super fast. So I'm gonna have some time on my hands. Reading is such a good way to help me feel productive. It's a very good way to kind of like distract yourself, get out of your head without just going on your phone. So reading has become such a great new hobby for me. So I want to set a goal for how many books I want to read this summer. I'm thinking three. So let's go to Target and get some books. as successful of a Target trip as I was hoping it would be. I only got two books. I wanted to get like at least like four. So we'll do a very small Target haul. I made a whole pin board with all of the books that I wanted to read. If you didn't know, right now I'm reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So I got another book that's part of this series. I think that this is the last one. I wanted to get the one before this too, but they didn't have it. I was very sad about that. And then I got this Colleen Hoover book. This one is called Verity. Very excited to read all of these. Today I was hoping to get Untamed and It Ends With Us, but they didn't have either of them. So I will come back at some point and get some more books, but I think I have enough to keep me covered for a while. I just need to get the second book to the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. But unrelated to books, I also needed a couple more things. I needed lotion and creamer. I wanted to try this new one. This is almond milk creamer. I'll try this, see if I like it. And that is everything that I got. Not as eventful as I was hoping, but it's fine. <laughs> Okay, next up on the agenda is to look at trips. So I'm not gonna like book anything today, but I do wanna get some ideas of if I were to want to do like a little vacation or something. I wanna know where to go and what to do and stuff like that. So I'm going to look up best places to go in California. I'm not really thinking anything other than like a road trip, but I would be open to flying somewhere, but that's just gonna be like expensive. Well, gas is expensive anyways, so who knows? Okay, 25 best places to visit in California. Yosemite, San Francisco, I've been there, but I would want to go again. San Diego, my sister lives there, so I probably will end up going there at some point this summer. Lake Tahoe, that would be cool. I think that's really far though. Monterey, ooh, I've been there before and I I, like loved it. That would be a super fun place to go back to. Big Sur. I've always wanted to go there, but I think that's another pretty far one. Sequoia National Park. That's in Central California, which is where I'm from. Santa Monica. I go there all the time. Los Angeles. I've actually never heard of that place. Um, sounds boring. Palm Springs. I've never been there. That would be actually really fun. Laguna Beach. That would be fun to do a little staycation in Laguna because it's still like an hour drive for me, but it's just really not that far. So that would be a very easy trip to do 
do, I'm gonna keep this in mind. Disneyland, I will be going to Disneyland this summer, I think. I don't have any like set plans yet, but me and Brayden really want to. Sonoma, Huntington Beach, Santa Barbara. I will be going to Santa Barbara a lot this summer. That's where Brayden lives. So I go to Santa Barbara very frequently. Joshua Tree, Venice Beach. I'm gonna make a pin board right now of all the places that I am interested in. I'm just gonna call it vacation spots. I'm definitely gonna add Disneyland. I don't know if there was anywhere else that I was really like super interested in. Oh, Monterey, I totally forgot about that. Okay, I really just want to be able to like fly somewhere, but that just seems like a lot. But you know what? Maybe we will this summer, who knows? I'm gonna look up best travel spots during summer, 20 best summer vacations. Okay, I actually don't have a passport. That's an issue if I wanna like travel anywhere internationally. I should get on that ASAP actually. I'm gonna look up places to travel in the US, Grand Canyon, Yosemite. I wanna go somewhere more like tropical. Cause if it's summer, I just wanna like lay it on the beach. Okay, I'm adding Maui to my pin board. New York. Oh my gosh, wait. Scratch the beach thing. I might want to go to New York. Okay, I'm adding that. Chicago, I feel like that would be really cool. Okay, I think that should be enough added to my pin board. That's seven places and there is no way that I'm going to all seven, so. I also have some good options because a few of these are local and then, or like, local and then for a few of them I would have to hop on a flight, so. Let's hope I get to go to at least one of these places this summer. Something that I really want to get in the habit of doing this summer is going to the gym. I'm gonna try to set a goal for how many times a week I wanna go. I'm thinking maybe like two to three times a week and I'm not really going to like look better. I just think it would be good for me to have something like consistent over the summer since school's not gonna be in session. And whenever I go to the gym, I physically feel good. And obviously working out has so many benefits. Like I actually feel so good whenever I'm done. On days that I go to the gym, I sleep better at night. That's another thing that I'd love to fix this summer is my sleep schedule and the gym can even help with that. So let's go work out. Okay, post I'm looking rough. I'm like exhausted for some reason. I don't know why I could literally fall asleep right now. But I was gonna tell you guys, one of the easiest ways that I can get myself to go to the gym is to put absolutely zero pressure on it. I used to weight lift a lot and I really liked it. I still want to now, but this gym is just so much busier than my gym back at home. And so a lot of the machines are never open. So something that I have started doing is just going on the Stairmaster and just doing it for as long as I can. Some days I'll shoot for 20 minutes some days I'll shoot for 30 usually I just try to do 30 and if I can't like I'll just stop early which is what I did today and so literally all I did in there was go on the Stairmaster for 25 minutes which to a lot of people is probably nothing I just think that any way that you can get yourself to get out and move your body is great and it's enough putting no pressure on it has helped me so much because on days like this I usually just wouldn't go to the gym because I really did not want to come today but I did and I feel good and I'm gonna go take a nice shower and it's gonna feel amazing so I am happy that I did this. Okay, we're at Earth right now. We're gonna do some online shopping for apartment. I'm gonna go on Urban Outfitters first. Okay, this mirror is something that I really want. So I'm gonna add this to the apartment one. Oh my god, there's a ladybug pillow. Isn't that so cute? I finished my wardrobe, guys. <laughs> I cheated for the first time. <gasps> I couldn't lose my chunk. Okay, everybody, this is Rachel's apartment board. Very, very cute. I'll show you guys mine, too. I feel like we have a lot of really similar stuff on here. I love all of the pictures with the black and white tile in the kitchen. Okay, now here is my apartment board. Again, very similar to Rachel's. So I am in Santa Monica right now. We are about to go shopping, but this time in real life. I'm not even gonna buy that much. I just wanna go like look just for fun, just get some inspiration, see if I find anything that is similar to something that I put on my pin boards. We'll see. Let's go do some shopping. It's a little bit busy for a weekday. I wanna say there's like a farmer's market going on or something. Before I got 
got back to the car. You guys already know. I had to pick up Starbucks. Probably know my order by now too, but in case you don't, I get a strawberry acai lemonade with light ice and no strawberries. They chose an interesting way to spell my name today. This was like kind of successful, kind of not, but I only got three things and it was like 70 bucks. So I didn't really want to spend any more money after that. I did Brandy, Urban Outfitters, and Pack Sun, but I only got stuff from Brandy, so. First, I got this t-shirt. It is just this black t-shirt that has this little like pink design on it. I think that this is so cute. I have a couple other black t-shirts like this with little graphics on them. One has a red design and then one has a yellow design, but I thought the pink one is just so cute. Then next, I got this shirt that I've kind of been wanting from here for a while. It looks so tiny just holding it up, but it's very stretchy. It's just this cute little basic white frilly top. I think it's so cute and like girly. Definitely fits what was on my pin boards. And then this next thing is exactly something that I've been picturing. I've really been wanting a cute like swimsuit cover up because I've been going to the beach more often. And I found this cute little halter dress. I am obsessed with it. I don't know what this like material is. It's not crochet, but it's like similar enough to what I was like going for. So I don't know, I love this. So that is everything that I got. Now let's go to the beach. I'm on the beach now. It is such a beautiful day out today. There's a lot of people just out tanning and swimming and stuff. So perfect day to be here. Let's see what the UV is. I want to see if I'm going to get a tan. Oh my God, the UV is eight. I should have brought sunscreen because that is way higher than I was expecting. So while I am at the beach, I brought my journal. I also want to set some goals for myself. So this is going to be like making New Year's resolutions, but for the summer. So we're doing some summer resolutions right now. I think I'm going to divide these up into a few categories. So first I'm going to do YouTube. I want to post every week and then a subscriber goal that I have is 600,000, which is kind of a big goal, but I am hoping that we can get there. I don't think I have anything else for YouTube. I'm gonna do health. I want to go to the gym two to three times a week. I also want to learn how to cook a few things and just eat better in general. Rachel knows how to cook and she is gonna teach me. So I'm really excited for that. Mm -hmm. 